In this video, I will talk about five the most expensive and five the least expensive neighborhoods in Toronto in 2021 based on the recent analytics from Toronto Real Estate Board. To see the price change, I will also compare the performance of these areas in 2020 and 2021. Hello, my name is Olena. I am a real estate broker here in Toronto. My team and I help our clients to relocate to Toronto or simply to choose a great neighborhood in the city. In today's video, I will show five the most expensive neighborhoods for those who are looking for luxury accommodations and five the least expensive neighborhoods for those who are uh, uh, searching value in the less popular areas in Toronto. But before I begin, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell button to be notified every time I post a new video about living in Toronto as well as its real estate. Please comment down below so I know what questions uh, you have and what topics to cover in my next videos. Let's begin. For the sake of a fair comparison and ranking, I will use the term uh, average selling price which is calculated by adding all the selling prices in the same neighborhood and dividing them by the number of transactions within a year. Only detached homes will be taken uh, to this calculation as all the areas feature different mix of homes. And I will only speak about the city of Toronto. The prices will be rounded to the closest thousand. Here is the list of top 5 the most expensive neighborhoods in Toronto in 2021. Number 5 in this list is St. Andrew Winfields uh, with its average selling price with a little bit over $4 million, while in 2020 the average selling price was $3.2 million. The neighborhood showed uh, almost 27% price increase within the last year. The number of sold homes in 2021 was uh, 146 homes versus 129 homes in 2020. Number 4 in the list is Casaloma. This neighborhood featured 78 homes sold in 2021 and 48 homes have been sold in 2020. The average selling price last year was marked at $4,337,000, uh, while in 2020 it was $3,482,000 thousand dollars which showed almost 25 percent increase number three in the list is forest hill south with an average selling price in 2021 of approximately five million dollars which is 10 percent increase from the price in 2020 we saw 72 homes sold in 2021 compared to 65 homes sold in 2020. Number two is Rosedale Moor Park. Last year, the average selling price in this neighborhood was established at $4,624,000 versus almost 4.3 in 2020. It is still an 8% increase. 158 homes sold last year and 126 homes sold in uh, two years ago. And the number one in the list is Bridal Path, Sunnybrook's York Mills area, which makes it traditionally the most expensive and the most prestigious area in Toronto. Let's see the performance. In 2021, the average selling price in the area was almost $6 million, comparatively to 5.4 in 2020. The price increased by 9%. 110 homes were sold in 2021 versus 77 in 2020. The most expensive sale was recorded at $23,850,000 last November. I would like to make some comments to the statistics to help you navigate Toronto luxury market better. After some slowdown in 2019 and 2020, the high-end market resumed and showed more sales and the significant price increase last year. This trend was caused by two major factors. First, buyers were willing to pay more to get bigger backyards and more spacious properties due to the quarantine and the stay-in-home order. 
Second, the prices for construction materials increased considerably. Uh, this had an impact not only on brand new houses, but also older ones. While this list is helpful for buyers in a high-end price range, I would like to mention that there are also quite a few other areas which uh, should be considered in your search. They are not in the list, uh, but they feature luxury accommodations as well. A home in a high price point must meet, if not all, but I would say uh, 90 percent of your requirements and expectations. Reach out to me for more information and active listings. Now I will give you the list of five least expensive neighborhoods in Toronto. Keep in mind that the average selling price for detached homes in Toronto in December 2021 was established at $1,698,178. So number five in the list uh, of the least expensive areas belongs to Weston with its uh, average selling price of a little bit over 1 million. In 2020, this number was 15% lower and showed $876,000. Number four is Malvern. This neighborhood showed 272 listings sold in 2021 compared to 178 sold in 2020 there was an increase in price by 33%, which brought the average selling price from $738,000 to almost $985,000 in 2021. Number three in the list is Rexdale Kipling. The average selling price in this neighborhood was $983,000 last year and almost $841,000 in 2020. This showed an increase by 17%. 341 listings have been sold in 2020 and uh, 433 homes sold in 2021. The next in the list is Rockcliffe Smith with 205 transactions in 2021 compared to 159 transactions in 2020. The price increased by almost 15%, bringing the average selling price from $828,000 to $951,000 during 2021. And finally, number one in the list is Mount Dennis. This neighborhood featured 62 homes sold in 2021, uh, versus 43 sold in 2020. The average price increased by 14% and currently it is recorded at $900,000 uh, while in 2020 it was $789,000. Now let me highlight some important points of this statistics so you can understand it better and consequently navigate this market more efficiently. This list is helpful for the buyers and investors who are looking for the opportunities in less popular areas. With the rapid city development, there are neighborhoods which I call underappreciated. The value of these neighborhoods will grow when big retailers, businesses and the families of young professionals start settling down there more. We already see a significant growth in, the, in this segment. By the way, if you are a buyer with a limited budget and looking for a condo, you might want to review your initial criteria and switch to buying a house in one of these uh, underappreciated areas. The benefits are obvious. First, the prices of houses grow faster. And the second, you will not be wasting your money on maintenance fees. The money will go towards your equity instead. Either you are looking for a luxury property or hunting with a limited budget, the best way is to start with the initial consultation. Please contact me at 647-294-3039 or by email olena at agentolena.com. My team and I will be happy to provide you with all the necessary guidance throughout your purchase process. And as always, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell button to be notified every time I post a new video about living in Toronto as well as its real estate. Please comment down below with your questions and if you are thinking of moving to Toronto or simply relocate to a great neighborhood, I will be happy to help. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next videos.